Our rate of unemployment is 12%, we're very high. It, it really tears at, at your heartstrings. People around here are sick and tired of, of, of just things continuing as they are, and they're wanting the changes. Like I just told you before, I'm, I'm nearly homeless and I'm trying to look for a job and everything, and there's no one here who's trying to help me because I don't fit the criteria to some of these paperwork, like um, they've done a police check and I can't even get this house because of my past, yeah. and I'm not a bad person, just I've made some mistakes in my life, eh? and what do you do, bro, when no one's going to help you? These people in high places are supposed to be looking after us. We haven't got a bank from here all the way to Gisela, I think, and from here to Portiki will be the next one. Dozens of people are in emergency accommodation in Napier tonight, unable to return to their homes, too badly damaged by flooding and slips. On a wet and windy winter's night, Gisborne's homeless are starting to settle in. Yeah. 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 Somewhere on the building, somewhere down here, but everyone's all spread out. And this is where they all came. They all sleep off the top. The pressure of the housing crisis is taking its toll on Masterton, where demand for an affordable place to live has gone through the roof. There are no state houses in Wairarapa, and the only community housing provider in the area has a wait list of more than 50. That provider is also having to raise rents to try and renovate its 500 homes, many of which are more than 70 years old. 